Hi, my name is Johan Nilsson. I work as an IFRS expert at ARO. I would like to share a few minutes with you where I would like to explain the IS-12 income taxes. That standard has effect on many other standards in IFRS, so therefore it's a good way to start with it. The agenda for these minutes is that we are going to start to talk about the IS-12 in general. Then we will go into the definitions. There are a lot of definitions in the standard which you need to understand when you go on to work with it. After that we will explain what temporary differences means. And finally we will go into losses carried forward definitions. These definitions are found in IS-12 paragraph 5. Current tax is the amount of income taxes payable, recoverable, in respect of taxable profit tax loss for the period. This means that current tax is related to the profit this year. Deferred tax liabilities are the amount of income taxes payable in future periods in respect of taxable temporary differences. Deferred tax assets are the amounts of income taxes recoverable in future periods in respect of unused tax credits. In the standard you can read a lot about temporary different differences. That are differences between the carrying amount of an asset or liability in the statement of financial position and its tax base. Temporary differences may be either a taxable temporary differences which are temporary differences that will result in taxable amounts in determining taxable profit of future per periods when the carrying amount of an asset is recovered or settled. An example of this is revaluation, where the booked value is higher than the purchase price. B. Deductible temporary differences, which are temporary differences that will result in amounts that are deductible in determining taxable profit of future periods, when the carrying amount of an asset or liability is recovered or settled. An example is when the booked value is lower than the purchase price, for instance when the company has made it right down. And finally, the tax base of an asset or liability is the amount attributed to the asset or liability for tax purpose. In most cases, purchase price minus deductible depreciations. So far, we have talked a lot about deferred tax asset, deferred tax liability, temporary differences, etc. Those words are very common in the standard IAS 12. We are now going to describe it in a bit easier way, easier to understand what it actually is. When a company purchases an asset, the tax base is equal to the purchase pr price. In this picture, in this example, the purchase price and the tax base is 100. The company can, during the business, do different do changes in the booked value. If you move to the right, look to the right, you can see that the company has done a revaluation. In this case, until to 120. So the carrying amount is 120. This means that the company has a temporary difference of 20. 120 minus 100. The company needs to do a booking deferred tax liability of the tax rate, in this case it's 22 percent, tax rate uh, multiplied with the temporary difference. So 22% multiplied with 20, this means 4.4 as a deferred tax liability. The company also might do a write down, and in this case the company has made a write down of 20 from 100 to 80. So the carrying amount is 80. In this case the deferred tax is 20 
and the company has to do a booking of deferred tax asset since the carrying amount is lower than the tax base. And if a tax rate is 22%, the company needs to take 22% multiplied with 20. This means 4.4 as a deferred tax asset. As you know, temporary differences are central in the IAS 12. And this template might help you to see the difference and understand the differences. If you look at the left side, items in the financial report, and we talk about assets. If a carrying amount is higher than the tax base, for instance, after revaluation, there is a taxable temporary difference. The company has, in this case, has to account for a deferred tax liability. And if a carrying amount is lower than the tax base, for instance, after write-down, there is a deductible temporary difference. And the company needs to account for a deferred tax asset. If you look at the liabilities, it's the same thinking, but opposite, of course. When a tax loss is used to recover current tax of a previous period, an entity recognizes the benefit of an asset in the period in which the tax occurs because it is probably that the benefit will flow to the entity and the benefit can be reliably measured. This means that the company which has a tax loss and expect that the business will turn into profit in the future and that the company can use a tax loss to deduct the, the tax further on, has to account for a deferred tax asset. For more information about IAS 12 and any other IS or IFRS standards, kindly visit our website at aro.com and book for IAS or IFRS courses. Please remember to like and subscribe our, our Academy channel on YouTube. Thank you.